Fentanyl Therapeutics has been quietly working in Calgary, Alberta, focusing on the development and commercialization of drug-based therapies to treat central nervous system diseases. Now, what does that mean? President Alan Moore explains next. Our focus is really to grow tissue back into the brain. And so any disease in which you've lost brain tissue, we activate the stem cells in the brain to grow tissue back again. We don't use stem cells, and this is a confusing thing with our company. We're called stem cell therapeutics, but in fact, the idea is that we use therapeutics to act on the stem cells that are in the brain. So these are called progenitor cells or precursor cells that become the tissue they're in. You know, there's a big argument right now about fetal stem cells, or if you stimulate them, they can grow into a big toe or a whole person or whatever. Well, these cells that are in the brain just grow into brain tissue, they're adult stem cells. So we use a regimen of two drugs. We use uh, HCG, which is an approved drug in epoerythropoietin, to actually stimulate those cells and then make them divide and become new brain tissue. We're at several stages of development depending upon the disorder. So the first one that we're focused on is stroke. And this is where people usually they've had a blood clot in an artery going to the brain or they've had a hemorrhagic stroke where their blood vessels actually burst open. And what happens there is you have an infarct in your brain, you have an area of damage. Usually the only therapy that's available is TPA which you give three hours, you have to give within three hours of having a blood clot. We come in 24 to 48 hours later and actually um, start our medication. There we finished a 12 patient phase 2A study where we're looking for does it work or do we have any bad side effects? The answer is yes it works, no there are bad, no bad side effects. So now we're in phase 2B which is where we're starting a multi-center uh, placebo controlled study which will be done throughout Canada and that will be 20 sites 134 patients and will be finished by the end of the calendar year. You know everybody asks me what's your exit strategy and, and I'll tell you honestly I don't have one I don't want to exit you know I like to work and everybody in the company likes to work um, what I would like to do, I'd like to deliver these drugs to people. I, I'm a product developer and I want to get them out on the market. Now realistically, we're a company of 11 people and we're in Calgary. So there are certain limitations there on what we can do. So most likely we'll need to partner with larger companies either in one area or in each one of them. However, I have no interest in selling the company to a large partner. I would like to keep control ourselves because we can move much more quickly and creatively ourselves. Yeah, I, I think in terms of our investors, what, what I'd like to tell them is first of all clearly that biotechnology is a risk but so is life. Biotechnology is a long-term investment. We go by milestones. That's what you should be looking for. You should be judging us by our milestones and our ability to meet those because it means we'll be able to go on then to the next level. And I think it's attractive when you have a company that really is focused on um, developing products. And that's what we are. We're a product development company. Recently, Stem Cell posted positive interim results for their Phase 2A clinical safety study in stroke. They are also expanding their portfolio to include therapies for traumatic brain injury and multiple sclerosis. You can find out more about the company via the TSX Venture Exchange under the symbol SSS.